Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. In this video, we'll continue our series on the tool axis control options inside of the simultaneous five axis toolpath. In this video, we'll be talking about tilted from curve away. So tilted from curve away is gonna be similar to tilt through curve in that we're gonna have a sketch curve that will dictate the tool vector, actually the direction of the tool, the angle of the tool. So tilt from curve away, I have it set to closest point, which means that it's gonna try and find the closest point to point to. So in our case, you can see there from the contact point on the surface, it's pointing towards the sketch. That's essentially the best way to describe it. It's just gonna follow that vector and extrapolate it to pointing at that curve as it goes along. And it still has a tilt angle, similar to the other options inside these, uh, this particular toolpath. And that's basically just an angle away from that vector that is created there. So right now, if I have it pointing towards that surface, and if I set this to something like 45, save and calculate, 45 degrees off of that angle, it's almost pretty much vertical. Uh, but because that tool is always pointing at that, that, uh, that sketch, as it gets closer to the bottom, you'll see that we're getting a, a little more of a 45 on the bottom there. So you might want to drive it by this vector, but as it goes along, it's gradually angling itself so that it actually points at that, that sketch there. So let me set this back to zero. We can take a look at this thing in action and get a better feel for the angle that it takes. So as it's coming down, you can see the tool is pointing towards that sketch. And pretty much at this point in the toolpath, that's probably a good angle. But one of the things with this sketch is because it's on the bottom face of the part, as this thing gets deeper and deeper into the part, it's going to still uh, continue to try and um, have the vector pass through that sketch. So I guess as it gets deeper and deeper, that angle is going to get almost flatter and flatter. It's probably um, a good way to control the toolpath if you have something that you um, you want to keep in mind in terms of an angle or, or whatnot, but you also want to keep in mind that um, it's going to try and do that throughout the entire toolpath. So choose your sketches so that it keeps a better angle as it goes across here. So for instance, you can see it's getting deeper and deeper and it's getting shallower and shallower. That might even collide at the end there. So one of the pitfalls of using a, a curve to drive the, uh, the tool angle is it's gonna try and do it for the entire toolpath. So keep that in mind when you use this particular option. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension two. You can send us your parts, your questions via the ticket system, solidcamsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel and in this series of five axis videos. Thanks for watching.